ICC opinions on whether the ICC decision on President Uhuru Kenyatta's case is likely to rattle the Jubilee administration are as divided as they are many. But there is a strong belief within Jubilee circles that personal friendship between President Kenyatta and his deputy William Ruto and unity of the country, country may keep Jubilee intact. But as Sam Ogina reports, the dilemma remains palpable. <laughs> ICC withdrawal of President Uhuru Kenyatta's case marked the collapse of the entire case too, leaving case one against the Deputy President and Joshua Arab Sang. Essentially one of the Jubilee largest block remains on trial. There is now anxiety of the possible ripple effects of the circumstances they find themselves in. As a person who works and drafted that agreement, that the heading of that agreement is coalition for national, to bring national unity and reconciliation and development. The journey of uniting our republic is still ongoing. It was not dependent on the decision of ICC either way. The foundation of the Jubilee Coalition was based on bringing Kenyans together, uniting a region and a people who have had, you know, historically, who have historically had a challenge in terms of uh, cohesion and, uh, you know, uh, togetherness every other, uh, every other uh, election, election period. Jubilee says with the withdrawal of the president's case, focus and determination of the state now shifts into supporting the country's number two. Let off the hook, the president left no ounce of doubt on his confidence in his number two. As they say, one down, two to go. We're nearly there. Uhuru says, as my deputy and principal assistant, William Ruto is an indispensable asset in my government. I look forward to the day when we shall not have the destruction of the trials so that we can continue delivering our transformational agenda to the people of Kenya. Analyst quip, the Uhuru-Ruto pact is founded more on a real friendship than a cosmetic political convenience. The relationship between uh, Uhuru-Ruto is like uh, uh, Reagan Bush. Uh, Bush Reagan relationship was so close that uh, you know people were surprised, considering that they were competitors during the Republican primaries, and they had all political ambitions and presidential ambitions. But Bush was willing, willing to wait for Reagan for ten years before he can come to office. They are both victims of something else, uh, so it would be foolhardy for any of the two sides to blame for the other for what is going on at the Hague. Uhuru and Ruto worked together during the Kanu days. When Kanu's stalwarts walked out of the party protesting the endorsement of Uhuru as a presidential candidate in 2002, Ruto stood by the man. They joined forces with the disgruntled NAC elements in 2005 to successfully oppose the constitution before briefly parting ways in 2007 to support different factions. Both would later be named in the list of the Ocampo Six. For us, we now have a stronger, uh, you know, uh, uh, the ally to help us in fixing and handling the second case. And the strong ally that we now have is a free president. As such, there is measured optimism within the Jubilee Alliance that the coalition is rock solid with a firm foundation to hold together. It is checkmate for the ruling alliance and how it handles its number two is likely to determine the longevity of the alliance. Samugina KTN, 